Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to solve this given radical equation square root of x plus x minus x times square root of x equal to 0 and make sure that x is greater than or equal to 0. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. In this video, I am going to show you two different approaches to solve this given problem. So therefore, please watch this video till the very end. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let me go ahead and manipulate this x. x could be written as square root of x times square root of x, isn't it? So therefore, this equation could be written as square root of x plus I'm going to replace this x by square root of x times square root of x and I'm going to leave this thing as it is minus x times square root of x equal to 0. And now we can see we got square root of x over here, we got square root of x over here and a square root of x over here as well. Therefore we can factor out this square root of x outside and we are ended up in parentheses 1 plus square root of x minus x equals to 0. Now since we got these two factors equal to 0, let's go ahead and separate them. I can write this square root of x equal to 0 or I can write this second factor 1 plus. And now let's focus on this very first equation. Let me go ahead and square both sides square this one and square this side as well. Therefore we can see this square and square root they undo each other. So we ended up with uh, x equal to 0 and that is our one of our solution. And now let's focus on this equation. We are going to move this 1 and negative x on the other side. So therefore we are ended up with the square root of x equal to x minus 1. And now let's focus on this uh, equation. And here I have copied it down. Here in this next step I have switched this one around. It doesn't make any difference whatsoever. And now we know that x is greater than or equal to 0. So therefore square root of x is going to be greater than or equal to 0 as well. So therefore x minus 1 is going to be greater than equal to 0 or in other words x is going to be greater than or equal to 1. Just keep in your mind. Now let's go ahead and focus on this uh, equation. We are going to take the square on both uh, sides. This square and square root undo each other. Therefore, we are ended up with x on the left hand side equals to and now let's recall this famous identity a minus b whole square. We are going to apply it on the right hand side. So this could be written as x square minus 2x plus 1. Let me go ahead and move everything on the right hand side and if we combine these two like terms and now we can see this is our quadratic equation and we are going to solve it by using the quadratic formula and here's our well-known quadratic formula that we will be using. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this quadratic formula. So x is going to be equal to minus and b is negative 3 plus r minus square root of negative 3 square minus 4 times a is 1, c is 1 as well, all over 2 times a is 1. Let's simplify furthermore. So that's going to give us 3 plus r minus, this is going to give us square root of 5 divided by 2. Now let's go ahead and split these positive and negative signs. So therefore we're going to have a 2x values x equal to 3 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and the other value is going to be x equal to 
3 minus square root of 5 divided by 2. Now let's focus on this value of x which is 3 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 and we know that this is approximately equal to 0 0.382 and this value is less than 1 and that contradicts this our condition. So therefore we are going to reject this scenario. Now let's focus on this equation and we know that this is approximately equal to 2.62 and this is indeed greater than 1. So this satisfies this condition. Therefore we are going to accept this solution of x which is x equal to 3 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and our another solution is x equal to 0 as well. And now let me show you the second method that we will be using by substitution. Let me go ahead and call this square root of x as u. So therefore if u equal to square root of x then u square is going to be simply x. Therefore our this equation is going to become 1 plus u minus u square equal to 0. Let's move everything on the other side so that is going to give us uh, u square minus u minus 1 equal to 0. Now we can see this is our quadratic equation and we are going to use the quadratic formula to solve it and here's our quadratic formula. Now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks these a b and c value in this uh, quadratic formula so u equals to negative and b is negative 1 plus r minus we are going to get negative 1 whole square minus 4 times a is 1 c is negative 1 all over 2 times 1 and once we simplified this thing our u turns out to be equal to 1 plus minus square root of 5 divided by 2. Let's go ahead and split these two signs positive and negative and here I have put down these two values of u one with a positive sign and with one with the negative sign and now let's recall our original condition x must be greater than or equal to 0 so therefore we conclude that u is going to be greater than or equal to 0 as well. Now we know that this value of u is going to be greater than 0 and this one is going to be less than 0 and since this contradicts our condition so therefore we are going to reject this scenario and we are going to accept this one and now we know that u square equal to x so therefore let's go ahead and square both of these sides so u square is going to be I can write this one 1 plus square root of 5 whole square divided by 2 square is going to be 4. Now we know that uh, u square equal to x so therefore I can write uh, replace u square by x equal to now let's focus on this uh, 1 plus square root of 5 whole square and here I have copied it down and now let's recall this famous identity a plus b whole square we are going to apply it over here and here I have simplified everything and it turns out to be 2 times 3 plus square root of 5 so I'm going to replace this numerator by this one 2 times 3 plus square root of 5 all over Four. and if we reduce this thing this is going to be equal to this 2 and 4 reduces so we got 3 plus square root of 5 all over 2 and this is our another solution. So in this method this is our one solution and x equal to 0 is our another solution. So thus here are our two solutions. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.